Hello, this is Gabriel. Welcome to the Quorum version 6 demonstration with our newest feature, VMware Integrated Protection. Quorum takes your servers, be they on-premise or in the cloud, and protects them with one of four Quorum OnQ solutions. With all of our solutions, you get the ability to have instant recovery, file level recovery, and of course, bare metal recovery. Reporting for that up-the-chain communication and archiving for long-term storage in the weeks, months, or years time frame are also included. And last, but definitely not least, our testing sandbox to perform full DR testing or simple application upgrade or patch testing. More on that as we go forward. With Quorum, we've taken all the complex sequences required to recover from a disaster and made it as easy as turning on the server. Everything with Quorum is logically air-gapped, immutable, and encrypted at rest and in transit. And finally, it's a complete solution that works in almost any environment for full server, application, and file level recovery needs. Earlier, I said that there were four ways Quorum can supply their solution. Way number one is Quorum Local, our high availability solution. This is done by placing an OnQ appliance on site by your servers. It protects your servers via backing them up to the appliance and then making sure that each backup is fully bootable from the appliance. So if a server crashes or gets ransomware, Quorum can recover that, that server with the same IP address, applications, and everything needed in the time it takes to boot. This all managed locally from the Quorum OnQ interface. With our second solution, you can see there's no appliance needed at all. You can back up and recover directly to the Quorum PCI and HIPAA compliant cloud. All the features of the OnQ appliance are available from the cloud across a secure VPN connection. Our third option is our remote option. And just like with our local option, an appliance is on site to provide local high availability recovery. But here we take that next step. Adhering to the 321 backup best practices, and we replicate the data to a remote appliance that you could keep at a secondary location. Both appliances have the ability to recover one or all of your servers into production. In the remote case that you have a disaster and lose a local site, all the servers can be recovered from the local remote OnQ appliance. And finally, you can have the best of both worlds on-site appliance-based recovery for speed and low latency needs, and a quorum cloud for off-site and full disaster recovery capabilities. And now announcing our newest feature, Quorum VMware Integrated Protection, or VIP. In our agent-based models that work universally on any physical or virtual platform, Quorum backs up servers at the OS or file level. We then parse or chunk the large data files into pieces so that we can remain as efficient with, with our backups as possible. However, with VIP, we took an agentless approach leveraging some of the VMware capabilities to grab that entire VMDK disk and snapshot them and copy them to the OnQ. This process in testing has shown a dramatic improvement in backup times for large servers. For example, in a 22 million file test, we reduced the initial backup time from 160 hours to six. We then take those snapshots and make them bootable on the OnQ. And this applies for any Windows, Red Hat, CentOS, Oracle, or SUSE Linux versions. We can also take the disks and make them directly recoverable to any VMware host. This allows us to protect any VMware supported operating system. This gives you the added ability to recover directly back into production and use vMotion to move the data back from the OnQ to your production storage platform with no additional downtime. As a recap, Quorum VIP supplies a 900% increase to backups for some servers, zero downtime for failback, support for any operating system supported by VMware, and of course, encryption at rest in transit immutable backups, and an air gap solution. Let's take a live demo and take a look at what we're talking about. Hello, welcome back. This is Gabriel, and this is a live demonstration of the new 6.0 release of Quorum's OnQ software with new VMware Integrated Protection, or VIP. The screen before you is an OnQ Quorum web interface at the dashboard. 
and as you can see, it's pretty easy to read. Green is good, and red, well, that would be bad. All of the OnQ protected nodes are on PNs, are currently green. At the top here, you can see a server leveraging the Quorum agent. In this case, a virtual machine running on a Zen server. But it could easily be on any hypervisor, or even a physical machine. And below, we have three servers running Quorum's new VIP agentless backup solution. In some tests, Quorum VIP outperformed the agent by 900% taking a 160-hour backup of 22 million files down to 6 hours. Quorum has done this by integrating with VMware APIs to take a consistent backup from the VMDK level instead of the file level approach we use with our agent-based backups. Today we're going to focus on the SQL Server and with Quorum VIP we're going to recover the server both to the appliance as well as to another ESX host machine. We're doing this to demonstrate the flexibility and power of the new VIP solution. Here's the Recovery Node tab. From the Recovery Node section, you're going to start the recovery nodes of the SQL Server to the test environment built with the OnQ. You can see that everything here is red, and that's because it's not powered on yet. We're going to go ahead and power this on to the test network. This environment allows you to test any server for any reason. Full DR testing, application testing, upgrades, or even patches before you deploy them into production. It's there for any purpose you need, and the best part is, it doesn't interfere with your production network at all. It's important to note that Quorum's OnQ backups are immutable, meaning that once written, they're marked as secured and read-only. So when I spin up this recovery node copy of the SQL Server, I'm really thin provisioning a new server. Thus, any changes I make to it in the test network, or in production for that matter, do not affect the server snapshot that was taken. This is important not only for the test network that we're using here, but also to show you that it's an immutable backup. Ransomware can't change that data once that backup is taken. Another important note is that everything is, it has a logical air gap to the data so that any network scans would not see the mounts and greatly reduce the threat vectors from ransomware. Now while that server's booting up, let's look at a recovery node with VIP. I've switched the browser over to the ESX host number one. And as you can see, our three servers that we're protecting are right here. What we're going to do is we're going to simulate an outage by shutting down the SQL Server and show how the OnQ keeps a heartbeat with the servers we protect, so that every 10 seconds or so, the OnQ is checking with the protected server to make sure it's up and responsive. If it doesn't get a reply, it's going to send out an alert to let you know the server's down, and then update the interface to show it as red so you can take action. In this case, the action we're going to take is to recover that server using VIP. It is as simple as clicking the VIP button to In this case, we're going to choose host number 2. In my lab, I'm running a second host as a standalone ESX box, so that my username is root. But if I were running a vSphere, I would leverage the vSphere admin account to access this server. You can see I don't have any virtual machines on here, except for the one I just added from the Quorum OnQ. And just like that, we've recovered this server into production with minimal impact to your users. From here, it can work just like it was in production, and you can use vMotion to move the VMDKs back to your normal storage platform without needing to restart your server. We can close the log here. And now we have two servers booting up in the, with the same snapshot, but each with their own thin provisioned version, not interfering with each other or the immutable backup snapshot that was originally taken. At the same time, we still have all the other features like file level recovery or Quorum's window share recovery, where we can create and share drive for one user to connect to a snapshot and recover files with the same drag and drop methods used by Windows. Last but not least is our archiving feature, which allows for weekly, monthly, or quarterly, or even annual backups to be held for long-term retention. This is done by freezing a point-in-time snapshot so that they follow the archive expiration rules instead of the normal 30 to 40 day rules of the OnQ. Snapshots before and after can still expire on schedule, minimizing any data impact from long-term retention that can affect other solutions. Let's take a look back at the test network to see if our server is up. As you can see, we can connect to the console, log in, and test as much as we want. 
Also note that any servers on the test network can see each other so we can perform an entire DR test without produ impacting production at all. And if we come and look over at our ESX2 host, we can connect here and see that that server is also booted up and ready to run. So that's it in a nutshell, Quorum's OnQ 6.0 release with VIP. I hope this was an informative session, and if you have any questions or would like more information, please visit us at www.quorum.com. Thanks again, and have a great day.